That's fancy. That is some fancy stuff. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be tackling a lot of different house projects. These are things that we have had on our list for months now, and we are finally going to be tackling several of them today. We are going to kind of start out in our front door area because we don't have like a front door closet to put all of our shoes and everything. We are going to be creating some shoe storage for not only our kids, but also Kyle and I. Of course, we're going to be tidying up this room because this is kind of like where we're going to be working and it's just like right in the open because we still do not have the built-in doors here yet. We are also going to be going up into our theater room and tackling that a lot. We are going to be adding a lot to that space and I'm really excited because that's been one of like our functional spaces, but it's definitely not finished in like decorating and yeah, it definitely has a little bit more work to be done. And then we also are going to be adding like a little divider area between our bathroom and bedroom just because it's fully open. We want a little bit of separation there. So we we do have a lot to get done. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. I wanna hear you say it. Yeah. So if you have seen my makeovers, you guys know I love doing projects that are beautiful, that add a coziness to a space, all the wonderful things, but I extra, extra love when they add function. Even whenever I'm doing a makeover or a small house project, I always go for function over beauty. So if I accomplish nothing else, I want it to be functional because that is going to be really how you're going to be creating peace in your home because without function, things don't work, things don't stay nice. You guys will see as we get deeper into the video, these first few projects are definitely going to elevate the space and make everything look a lot nicer. But what I'm most excited about is the function that it's going to add to these spaces. I'm sure you noticed in those first few clips, we had a lot of things kind of out of place. Things didn't really feel very organized. Things were just kind of jumbled all in one area. And so these first few organization pieces are really going to transform that. Can I get a pure injection of you? La la. I just wanna drink you down. La la. I'm telling you, I just can't live without you. I need you right now. Cause you got me going. Gimme, 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 gimme that loving. Won't you let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get a cherry on top. Won't you let me get a cherry on top? I've got this feeling. Kind of have like a love hate about our floors because I feel like they're really pretty. They are a little bit dark for our taste, but they are fairly single tone. And so you see a lot of like dings and scratches in them. We're constantly like drawing on them and like trying to fix them. So we do have a few. And since we have this area all cleared out right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just fix those right up. Now that we have everything all cleaned up and tidied up, we are going to start building furniture and we're actually gonna start with our shoe storage tower that's gonna go right by the front door. That one's going to be for Kyle's and my shoes and then we're gonna move in and I have like a hall tree that's gonna go in this little cove and I feel like it'll just be so much more functional for the boys and like storing all their stuff and their school things and everything. But we got everything from Wayfair. They are having their Wayday sale. They have thousands of flash sales and tons of things on sale. So definitely check it out. They had such great inventory 
inventory and we have gotten so many things from Wayfair over the years. We're always impressed with their quality and their shipping and their customer service. But now that they have everything on sale, you can save even more. So we are going to go ahead and get all this built. I won't. <laughs> I am so excited to be teaming up with Wayfair today. Y'all know we have shopped through Wayfair for years and years. So at this point, a ton of the items in our home are actually from Wayfair, like our bookshelf upstairs, our game table, our fire pit on our back patio, all three of the boys' dressers, multiple rugs in our home, both Kyle's and my office shelves, and even my office desk that I always get questions about. And that is just to name a few. Every single piece that we have gotten from them has been amazing quality and such a great value and the pieces that we are going to be adding to our home today are no different. And as I mentioned, Wayfair is having their Wayday sale, which is their biggest sale of the year, where they are offering the lowest prices of the year. And they always have such a large selection spanning across so many different categories. So if you're needing furniture, they got you. If you're needing rugs, they got you. If you're needing new home decor, they got you. Or if you're in need of some new organizing solutions, they got you. Seriously, anything you're going to need to make your home more functional, more cozy, or beautiful, they will have you covered. And they also offer items at tons of different price points and all the different styles that you can imagine. And during their Wayday Day sale, you can grab things at up to 80% off with tons of limited time flash deals on their website. And they also are offering free shipping on everything on Wayday. Day. So whether you're needing one small thing or you have a ton of house projects like we do, or you're doing a full room makeover, if you take advantage of their Wayday sale, you can be sure you're getting an amazing deal and snagging free shipping too, which I feel like is just the cherry on top because I don't know anyone who likes to pay for shipping. So for us, y'all know we've been working on making our house a home slowly ever since moving into our new house almost a year ago, but things definitely add up. So being able to get such great deals during Wayfair's big sale has really helped us be able to tackle several big spaces in one period of time. And you guys will be seeing all all of them come together throughout today's video. You'll definitely have to let me know which one of them ends up being your favorite. But anyway, as you can see, we are just building our first furniture piece from Wayfair, which is the shoe organizer that's going to be going just to the right of the front door. And I cannot tell you what a difference it's made in having this right by the front door. It's just so convenient. And Kyle and I are actually able to store 16 pairs of shoes inside. And we are just so thankful that after almost an entire year of using our bucket and bin system, we officially have shoe storage that actually adds to the look of our home and has obviously raised the functionality of this space a ton. So I am going to be linking all of the items in today's video that we ordered down below, but I will also have a link right to Wayfair's website so that you can check out the thousands of items that they have on sale right now for Wayday. And that way, if you have a space in your home that you've been wanting to upgrade or improve with some new items, you can take advantage of their Wayday sale and save some cash. And a huge thank you again to Wayfair for sponsoring this video. Bobby, like we're chilling on an island. Got a wave we've been riding. Yeah, wasn't even trying. That is what happens when you just have like baskets by the front door for your shoes. It's like everyone just tosses them over there and it makes the wall so, so dirty. And this isn't even from very long ago. This was like we cleaned it before they painted and then this is on new paint. So we're gonna quickly just clean this up before we cover it with the new shoe storage organizer. It doesn't take too long to do this, which is good. But I definitely don't want to attach the shoe organizer to a dirty wall. How come you're not replying? Guess you need some time and space. I'll give you some time and space. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me if something's changed. Just don't leave it this way. Give me something to take. Give me something to take. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cause, babe, I'm cool either way. I'm cool either way. It's whatever. Yeah. I should just get over it. Over it. Act like I never cared Sort of thought I wanted you But I could find another you So 
So here we are just adding a little block to the back of the unit and that will kind of give space for it to be pushed up against the baseboard and then also pushed up against the wall flush. And we are doing that all so that we can secure it to the wall before adding in the baskets, especially because it is a really tall skinny piece. We wanted to make sure that it was really sturdy and not something that would topple over and potentially hurt one of the boys. But I really love how slim the shoe storage is. I feel like it would work really great if you needed multiple of these. You could just stack them right next to each other and I feel like it would look really nice and high end. But also it works really great in our situation where we have a pretty narrow wall space. We didn't really have a whole lot of room to play with, but we definitely needed some storage and organization added here. And I feel like if we didn't put anything here, it was just going to be wasted space. So I feel like it was the perfect size and it's just worked out so, so well. I don't have much to say, I don't have much to do, I never had it in me, so I don't have much to lose. So another really cool thing about this shoe storage cabinet is that you can actually customize the buckets depending on which notch you secure the middle divider to. Like we ended up putting ours towards the back. That way we could put some bigger shoes in front like all of Kyle's shoes and then I was able to just slip all of my shoes in the back section and it worked out really, really great. So I really liked that it did kind of give you some playroom with that as well. And the days are moving slow I don't know what to fake I don't know what to show But I really, really love you I will never let you go Just keep on breathing It's a funny feeling You're the one that makes it all alright Give me all you got Dancing to the beat We got one down. I love how this turned out. I feel like it just finishes this area off really nicely. It tucks right behind the door. It holds so many shoes. I think every single drawer has four pairs of shoes and there's four drawers. So if this were going for kids, you could definitely fit a lot more in there. But because we do have adult size shoes, we're only fitting in about four in there, but that's 16 pairs of shoes in there and it just looks so nice. And then it also gives us a space to put like sunglasses and stuff so we don't have to put them on our little wood wall over there. And then I just have like a little decor piece to kind of add some interest over here, but I love, 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 love how it turned out. Next is one of my favorite things or like the things that I'm most excited about just because I feel like it will look really nice, but really I'm just excited for the function that it's going to add. We got this, actually we got that from Wayfair several months ago, I guess. It would work really well if our kids were a little bit younger, but because Luke is actually wearing like the same size shoes as I am now, his shoes are just not fitting really well in there so I'm probably going to hold on to this and use this for a future makeover maybe at my sister's house because she does have younger kids but we are actually going to take this out we're going to take the mirror down and everything and then we're going to put in like a perfectly fitted wall tree 
I looked, they have tons of different sizes and styles and I found one that I love and it's going to fit the space really, really well. And that's also going to be able to house like their backpacks and their shoes and socks and all the things. So it's just gonna work really, really well. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Do you feel like hanging from a cross? Do you feel your paradise is lost? When you're lying wide awake, counting every mistake, do you hate what you become? Would you like to soak your heart in bleach? Scrub it white till all the walls are clean. We are just working away and Emma is laying like 10 feet away, living her absolute best life. Just resting on her bed, wagging her tail. Silly girl, she's sleepy. If you are a dog person, drop a little dog emoji down below. And if you are a cat person, drop a little cat emoji. I am personally such a cat person, although I do adore our dog. And Kyle's kind of the opposite. He is definitely a dog person, but he loves our cats. As you may know, we do have a dog and several cats. I don't really know how it'll happen. Like we never planned on having so many cats, but it just ended up happening that way. And we love our animals so, so much. I feel like they add so much to our family, but I do think it's so funny just the differences. Emma is constantly by Kyle. Kyle is definitely her person. She also is completely obsessed with the boys as well. And so she will just follow you around if you sit down she'll sit down right at your feet and then it's funny because the cats kind of don't care that much like they're really playful and they're actually really sweet like our cats will come lay with us or sit with us all the time they're actually very very curious and like very much people cats but they're just different like they don't really come when they're called they definitely don't just go sit at your feet until you leave cats are definitely more like my style like more laid back and dogs I feel are definitely more Kyle's style he is like way more extroverted, way more outgoing, and they just kind of match us. So I would love to hear what kind of person you are, like if you're extroverted or introverted, and also if you are a cat person or dog person. I'm curious if those kind of match up with you guys as well. I 
love how this turned out. I did measure before buying and I made sure to get like as big of one that I could get that wasn't too big. There was actually another one that I loved too, but it was like half an inch too big and that would not have worked. So anyway, I love this. I think it's gonna be perfect. So down here on the bottom, I'm going to have three bins, one bin for each of the boys shoes. Then up here, I love they're going to be able to hang their backpacks like right on here because currently they're supposed to be bringing their backpacks to the laundry room and it's just like an afterthought putting it in there like it's not convenient they have to go over to the laundry room to do that and then come back here and put their shoes away and it's just something that doesn't always happen so more days than not we end up with like backpacks spread all over the floor so this will just make it really nice and easy then they also as I've shared with you guys they are all in football right now and so I'm planning to put like some of their sporting things and just kind of some random things over here and then I think we're going to see if we kind of put something in this little cove and decorate that. I do kind of miss having the mirror here, but I feel like because this is right across from Kyle's office and like in this little cove area, it just feels like way, way more intentional with the hall tree. And it just feels like it was kind of made for the space. So let's go ahead and get it organized. So I wanted to quickly share my sock hack with you guys. I've shared it in previous videos, but this has been something that's been so incredible for a busy mom and just a busy lifestyle with kids. I feel like it saved us so much time and chaos. So what we do is down by the shoe bin, we have a clean sock bin and also a dirty sock bin. At this point, all our boys are wearing the same size socks. So we just have one big bin for all of their socks. They grab a pair and then when they get home from school or wherever they've been, they pop their dirty socks right into the dirty sock bin and then whenever that gets full I just stick them right into a laundry bag pop them in with any random load and then once they're clean I put them back in the clean sock bin and it just really has helped us avoid like all the random socks around the house or not having a pair of socks and of course it's been really convenient just having everything right next to your shoes whenever you need them you have them right there so if you have kids and you haven't tried this out I would definitely urge you to it really makes such a huge difference This is exactly what I was talking about earlier in the video. Adding function truly makes more peace in your home. I feel like ever since we've gotten this put up, our boys rarely ever leave their backpacks anywhere but on these hooks. It's also made busy mornings a lot more simple and after school it has just become a little bit more relaxing because everything is all in one place and everything has its own spot. Plus, now their shoes actually fit into the bins versus being a little bit too big for that smaller little organizer that we had. 
So if you have a space in your home that is not really working for you anymore, whether it did at one time or not, if it doesn't work anymore, kind of reevaluate it and try figuring out what new solution you can come up with to kind of serve you better. All right, now that we have the hall tree all set up, I am actually over here in our hall closet. Definitely need some like reorganizing or like sprucing up in here. But one thing that I found is just the way I have it organized, it's just not enough like small space storage. And so I got one of these little like over the door hangers. I'm not actually gonna put it over the door because we have our doors painted black and I feel like that would scratch them so much. So I'm just going to use like little hooks um, stuck onto the front or the back of the door. And then this is going to be perfect for like all the boys sports stuff like their flag football belts their I don't know like cleats like just all the little things their mouth guards all this stuff and I think this is going to make this situation not be so rough These over the door organizers are so perfect for organizing tons of different spaces, lots of small items, and they're also very inexpensive. And you can put them in multiple different rooms, behind closet doors. There are just so many places in your home that you can really utilize these. A few random ones that I feel like don't often get thought of is you can use them for organizing wrapping paper. You can also even use them in your pantry, but there really are just limitless uses for these. So next time you're in need of a small space organizer, do not overlook these over the door hanger organizers. They are amazing. All right, so it is the next day. We don't actually have a lot of time today because we had a ton of stuff to get done this morning. So we're kind of getting like a late start to the day or a late start to tackling this area. And then once the boys get home, we actually have like a very full schedule tonight. So I'm not really sure how far along we're going to get. We have a lot of things that we got from Wayfair. If we don't finish it today, we just will take it into another day. That's just how it'll have to be. But we are first going to start out by cleaning up this space because you guys know. The theater room is always, always, always a mess. And then once we're done with that, we're actually going to go ahead and build a new TV stand. You guys will have to let me know if you remember when I built this one back in our Utah house, it was a little bit of a mess and it just hasn't worked great ever since then. And I've kind of wanted like a different style. So we're going to end up probably selling this one and I love the new one that we got. So we have a lot of stuff to get done. Let's get to it. I'm feeling sober, but my head 
Your eyes are heavy on my mind. Started a fire, got you in my lungs now. I learned to speak your native tongue. A California sunrise, it feels like I've been you remember a few months ago we actually did like a partial makeover in this room obviously like we didn't decorate everything we didn't change out furniture but we did paint the walls this was a light blue color and then this was like a dark blue color but it wasn't this like more sophisticated navy color it was more of like a dark kids blue color I don't know anyway so we actually did alabaster on the walls and then this is hail navy and we have loved it it's brightened up the whole space but there's really like no style or like decorating in this room so i've kind of thought about putting something up here i'm not sure kind of how we're going to style everything today but i kind of have some ideas and then i did get some shelves so we have like some floating shelves we're gonna put i think on either side and then i do have an art piece so i'm thinking either to put that in the middle if it's not too much or possibly up there i'm not really sure just gonna have to like kind of bear with me but i know the tv stand is going to make like a big difference just it's gonna like totally change the style it's gonna just be it's gonna be like a big change in here and i'm really excited to have some new decor and just have it a little bit more styled and kind of put together So we have had our theater room couch for several years now and I love it so much. I feel like it's so cozy, it's so oversized and it just kind of like sucks you in. Kyle does this thing where he will scoot back up on the couch and he kind of like pushes down the pillow and crunches it down. So I feel like every other week I'm like swapping the pillows around. I'm doing my very best to re-fluff it up because this doesn't happen to any other couch cushion other than the one that he sits on and it kind of drives me nuts. I've like mentioned it to him maybe try not to do that but in the end that's just how he's comfortable so it's really not that big of a deal I just flip them around every couple weeks step on them to fluff them up because I feel like that is the best way that I found to really fluff them up really well and then for the most part it doesn't look too crunched down have been on the hunt for the perfect tv stand for so long now and at one point i literally had four different tv stands in my cart because i just could not decide on one but as soon as i found this one i knew it was the one i loved the look of it i was actually looking around at some more modern style ones that felt a little bit more minimal like they had some longer legs but those ones i feel would not have been quite as practical because they didn't have as much storage space and they also didn't really hide the cords as well which which since we do have two TVs and the projector and all the things over there, I feel like we really did need a little bit of cord camouflage or whatever you wanna call it. And so this one ended up working perfectly and I really, really love the style and design of this. I also love that it was light, so it kind of stood out against our dark navy wall behind it. I feel like it just checked all the boxes and I love how it turned out. I'm 
I love how cats just will walk up to anywhere and they're like, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down here. If there's an area with sun, if there's an area with some nice cushion, they will go sit down and just enjoy themselves and not even think twice that they're right in your way. But I did wanna give you guys a quick little update on Benji. So if you remember me talking about earlier on when we moved here, he has been having a bit of a hard time moving to Arizona because Back when we lived in Utah, he was really able to just kind of go outside. He was an indoor outdoor cat. He was always climbing up the trees, running around the neighborhood. And then whenever we moved here to Arizona, we found out cats can really not be outdoor cats here just because there's so much wildlife here that's very dangerous to them. Like we have heard so many stories of an owl coming and getting little dogs or cats or a hawk coming and picking them up or bobcats or coyotes or something. I just feel like there's always so many predators in the desert, especially for smaller animals. And so we have had to keep him inside. And for the longest time, he was just like really struggling with that. But we recently took him into the vet maybe about a month or two ago, I guess. And whenever we had taken him in to get neutered when he was a kitten, something went wrong with it. Like they couldn't fully neuter him. And so we took him back in a few months ago and he was able to get fully neutered. And I feel like ever since then, he has been such a happier cat. He has not been like trying to get outside so much. And it just feels like his quality of life has been so much better. If you want to make a mess, I can show you what a mess is. You know what? It's rare than a coyote code. It's a golden ticket. And guess what I've got? A huh? golden ticket. Yes, I do! Oh my goodness. That is so cool. What's a golden ticket for? For doing good? For being a learner? Mm -hmm. Awesome. But just look at the back. Good job, Liam. High five. Oh. So it is a new day. I'm actually not in the theater room right now. As you guys saw, we went ahead and built the TV stand. Then we ran out of time to finish anything else in the theater room. But before we head up there, I wanted to show you what we have planned for our bathroom. It's not a whole lot, but it's going to make like a pretty big impact in here, I feel, especially for just creating a little bit more privacy for us. So I wanted to go ahead and show you that. Then we're going to spray paint the pipe that we'll be using for that. And then we will head back up to the theater room because we do have quite a bit more to do in there. We want to add the shelves. We have a lamp to add and this beautiful, gorgeous art piece that I found at Wayfair. I just love this one and I cannot wait to put it up. So we have still quite a lot to be get done, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it around and kind of show you what we're doing today. So do not mind all of that. That's just like the salt from the pool 
but here is our bedroom and right here is the opening into our bathroom so as you can see like when we come from our shower into our closet there's kind of like a little area where if people are sitting out here they can see in so we're just always really careful like we have to close that curtain but because we don't have a door in the bathroom it just makes it a little bit less private when we have guests or visitors or even for the boys so we are going to be adding some hooks up on the ceiling adding a rod and then I do have some curtains that most of the time we'll probably have pulled off to the side but when we get in the shower and stuff we'll kind of pull them open right there so that's the plan for the bathroom like I said we are going to be using a pipe and so we do have to spray paint that so that's why I really want to get started on that first before tackling upstairs at least spray paint it and then we'll decide if we want to like wait for that to finish drying and then put that up or if we'll let it like fully fully dry to the theater room and then kind of come back down here but we'll play it by ear we'll see how it goes Now that we have the pipes cut and painted and they're outside drying, we are going to be working on our theater room. So the plan is to put some floating shelves on both sides of the couch and then possibly that sign in the middle or like the, the wall decor piece. If not, I might put it up here, but we'll kind of see what happens. But I do want to give you like a quick little before. So we do have to still swap the TV stands out, but I think this is just going to make such a massive difference in here. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the lamp that we got from Wayfair and I love it because this is actually like a little bit of a table so it kind of doubles as like a side table and then does not have any pictures on here but these are just some really nice quality wood floating shelves. I think they were solid wood and they definitely feel <laughs> like nice and sturdy and heavy so we're going to be putting two on each side. I don't know where you are going but you shouldn't go there alone. I'd like to go there with you, but you gotta pick up the phone, answer your phone. So this first shelf took us quite a while to get put up and I think it's just kind of how it goes especially when you're doing the first of something. We measured everything so many times because we really didn't want to make any mistakes especially because these are something we're planning to keep up for a long time. It's not just like a random picture that we might keep up for a year or two and then take down. These shelves I'm sure will be here for years and years and years to come. And so we really just wanted to make sure that we did everything right. But I really love adding shelves because they are very basic in a way, not in a bad way, but in like a very versatile way. I feel like most shelves will match any decor style. They make it so easy to change out your decor, which both of those things makes them such a great investment and really something that can be made permanent in your home and something that really doesn't have to change out just because your style changes. So if you are kind of unsure of what you want to do in a certain space, consider adding some shelves. They could be floating shelves like these. They could be a standalone bookshelf. There are so many different shelving options, but they really make decorating so easy and super versatile. I have tried to beg and plead, but if we can't communicate, something's gotta change. Cause what you need. 
Locking the door and you got a way of rocking my world and letting me fall Letting me fall And I know you're waiting but you get bored and I know you're waiting aching to do more than nothing at all Nothing at all all right, we have all of the floating shelves on the wall. I feel like floating shelves are one of those things where you always think it's like super simple. Like they just look so effortless, like so seamless, but putting them up is just always a little bit tricky, but we got them to work and they look amazing. I love them. So here is kind of my dilemma of what I was talking about earlier. So we do have a picture I'm thinking to put here. And at the moment I'm thinking I definitely want it because it seems like very bare right there, but I don't want it to be too much. So I think I'm gonna go ahead kind of like style the shelves put the pillows back put our water cooler back all that kind of stuff and then we'll kind of see where we're at with this area and see if it's too busy to put the picture right there or if it'll work so that's what we're gonna do next So for decorating the shelves, I actually had a majority of this decor already. I really love shopping my home first, and I talk about this all the time, but being able to swap things out, move things around, it really changes the spaces up. Even if you're using the same things that you had in a different room, as soon as you move them to a new space and decorate them with some different pieces, they just feel totally new and it really helps save storage space. Of course, it helps save money and it just makes things a lot easier to have a little bit less decor. So one of my biggest tips when looking for and buying decor is to aim to buy pieces that would work in two or more spaces in your home. That way it almost feels like you're getting multiple decor pieces for the same price because when you do move a certain decor piece into a different space, it really does feel new and it can totally transform a different space in a totally different way. So next time you're shopping for decor, definitely keep that in mind. The only thing that we have left in here is the lamp that Kyle's unboxing, swapping out our TV stand. But I love how this turned out with like the shelves and the decor and then this piece, it's so cool. You guys have to let me know if you guys like that one, but I just, I love it. <laughs> 
it's amazing what like just a little bit of change can really do for a space. We're not even finished, but it took this room from like kind of stark and not really a lot of personality to like, it just feels very cozy and homey and inviting, like even more so. Look how fancy this lamp is. It came with white gloves. White gloves. <laughs> that doesn't really fit. <laughs> That's fancy. That Prepared. is some fancy stuff. <laughs> Let's build the lamp. <laughs> mm. I need a monocle. That's what I need. <laughs> Take back my life. It's time to go my own way. Across the horizon, I've been dreaming about it every I believe we're wild and free. Just went and picked up the boys, so we're gonna show them what we have done in the theater real quick. Oh my gosh, it's so good! Oh wow! What do you guys think? Wow. Good! Wow! And wow. do you guys notice anything over here? What? Isn't that cool? Oh wow! This is so much nicer. I know, it's like Ooh, so right cozy. Now. Wow! You even, you even bought a new picture oh. and a lamp, bruh. Bruh? Bruh? So the last thing to do in the theater room was just to transfer everything from our old TV stand into our new TV stand and then also reorganize it. So I did decide to change out the baskets that I was using and these lower ones I feel like are going to be a lot more useful and functional for our kids because they are constantly getting in there and so the fact that they don't actually have to pull the baskets out in order to see what's in there, I think it's just going to work a whole lot better and I feel like it also looks a little bit more simple that way as well. All right, finally we are done with the theater room and I love it so much. It's just so cozy and inviting and it kind of makes us want to spend even more time in there than we already do. But now we are in our bathroom. This is the final project of the day or of the several days, you know how it goes. But all we have to do is just attach the rod to the ceiling and we actually got something a little bit different. You guys know we always love like the little leather strips, but this time since we'll be like pulling it back and forth all the time, we got these little 
like ceiling brackets to go ahead and slide the rod in there and I feel like this might work a little bit better since we'll be like constantly sliding it back and forth. The canvas is colors can't hold like they once could And listen to the growing sound of all I've known that bids me farewell Saw the new horizon these ceiling brackets ended up working out really really well and i feel like this was just such a simple and great alternative to the leather straps that we typically use we've shared that in multiple makeovers so i'm not really going to get into that too much today but if you do need to slide your curtains, I would definitely suggest this one. I feel like this one would work a little bit better than the leather straps would, but the leather straps do work really well if you're just using your curtains for decoration and you're not going to be sliding them on the rod a lot. But anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. I know you guys typically love all these house project videos just because we're not focusing on one single room, but we're kind of hopping around the house and continuing to make our house a home. It's been so fun to share all of these with you guys. I also wanted to remind you to not miss out on Wayfair's biggest sale of the year. Wayday is going on this week and they are having some incredible sales that you definitely do not want to miss out on. So I will have that link down below for you guys. And if there's anything that you're interested in from today's video, I will have those links down below for you as well. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. And if you are not already subscribed, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and join the family. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys.